Hello everybody, my name is Removal Sazzy and today I am looking at Wartech Fighter on the Xbox One X and this has been developed by Drakkar Dev. So what is Wartech Fighter? Well, you take control of a huge sci-fi mech called Wartex, whom travel across the galaxy battling a deadly empire in a variety of action-packed space battles whilst destroying enemies in a blend of stylized ways. You are also able to configure, upgrade and customize said mech any way you choose. Sounds fun? That's because it is. The premise of the game is simple. You are part of rebel colonies called Hebos and Ares, who have joined forces to battle against the Zatros Empire with the deadliest weapons ever built, Wartex. This leads me on to the gameplay. Before you can start, you are given a taste of how powerful you will become by taking control of an NPC's Wartex and doing a few small battles. Once done, it is up to you to choose what mech class you would like to go through the game as. There are three bodies to choose from. The Light Hawk class for speed, the Mid Range Lynx or the Heavy Rhino class for pure aggression. Once chosen, you are then shown your main hub, which is a Battlecruiser hangar, which is where you will spend most of your time configuring, upgrading and customising your mech. The developers have done a fantastic job of providing you with thousands of paint and livery options combined with about 180 upgradable systems and body weapon parts. Each is purchased by in-game currency you earn by completing missions or doing VR challenges. Besides the usual stat system, there is also a leveling system for your mech, which in turn buffs your robot stats further than the standard weapon parts upgrades. Now weapon parts stats need to be carefully managed to get the best out of your robot, but at no point did I find it too difficult to find the item I wanted to buff my mech in a specific way. This is mainly due to the excellent tree upgraded system similar to that of Monster Hunter World where you can see exactly what price you need to get and what stats you may require to move to the next tier. Once you have tweaked your Wartech to the way you want it, it's time to do a mission. There is around 30 missions in total and these include a selection of mech on mech fighting, long range space battles, stealth sections, code hacking and more in a bid to help keep missions fresh. The battles take place in an arena with invisible walls which gives the impression of the zone being bigger than it is. The Wartex are outfitted with a light weapon, a heavy weapon, a melee weapon and a rocket or missile barrage system. Combination of these weapons are hugely fun but also depend on the enemies you face as some have damage resistance depending on the weapon you have chosen. So what about the control system? Well I found the Wartex simply lovely to pilot with the usual left, right, up or down and boost for a quick getaway. It is nice and responsive and allows you to tweak the sensitivity to your needs. One issue though that took me a while to get to grips with was the mech on mech battles which basically turns the game into a fighting game. There seems to be a slight lag between your input versus movement which in turn can get you into trouble pretty quick. Light and heavy attacks are well defined along with blocking using your shield but dodging which is needed to stop you from spamming light and heavy attacks and help up open a counter is clunky and not as quick as I'd like. One thing to note is there is no ammo here. It's all about energy consumption, similar to a stamina bar if you will. All weapons, even when in a direct combat with another mech, use it. This regenerates over time, but still you have to keep an eye on your bar to ensure that you don't wipe out a chunk of enemies and then find another load sneak up on you when you have nothing left to give. As you progress, you can buff this to better suit your style of gameplay, but at the beginning it's something you need to be aware of. To combat this a little, there is the ability to grab a portion of energy by doing stylized execution moves. 
damaging a unit to within an inch of its life and getting in close allows you to pull off a visual Hollywood style death move. This could be anything from drop kicking at an enemy ships, grabbing and tearing them apart, to slicing them with your sword. It also provides a nice respite to gather your thoughts when the battle gets get a little heated. There is also a plethora of health crates floating around the area should you ever get too low, which in turn is reduced dependent on the difficulty you choose. At various times you get missions which allow you to take control of NPC mechs and their special weapons in a bid to help tell the story from their point of view. Now there isn't much of a story, but what there is is told by FAV or characters talking to each other. To be fair, you'll be too busy having a great time blasting, cutting and smashing up vast amounts of enemies to worry about the story. And this leads me on to the graphics. Graphically, the game stands up well and shines in most areas. The arenas and backdrops you fight in are beautiful and stunning to look at. They truly capture the galaxy in such a way as to make you sit and stare at the area you are playing in. However, I found the enemy model types a bit blocky, and this is probably because I'm playing on a 49 inch 4K TV. Overall though, the weapons, menu loadout and explosions are a nice punchy selection of colours that keeps you glued to your screen. Another great option is you can choose at any time to switch between third person and first person at will. This is fantastic and really sells that mech feel, seeing your hulking weapons over your shoulders blasting away at an enemy's flank. One aspect they have hit on the head perfectly is the varied library options to truly make your own mech different from another. Through the game you can also collect special projects which give you special all-in-one war mech sets. These visually impressive models ooze menace and presence on the battle arena and luckily for us the console versions get an extra set called the Archangel Wartech which shows strong Gundam influence. Now the frame rate is smooth and never dipped even in the most hectic of battles during my time playing the game. My only performance related issue with the game were the long loading times between missions and menus which I really wouldn't expect on a console. And this leads me on to the sound. Now the soundtracks feature some truly excellent rock, metal and electronic music which really gets your adrenaline pumping during battles. Explosions, weapon fire and the clash of weapon on weapon also have been well done and seem to be best sampled from a headset. The only voice work is on the game's FMV sequences which are well done and provide a bit of a Hollywood like touch. And this leads me onto the rating of the game. Now I rate games in order of avoid, on sale, great purchase and must own. My rating for Wartech Fighter is great purchase and this is for the following reasons. For me this is a truly enjoyable game with very little faults. There is so much here to keep you occupied for a fantastic price. The developers have gone all out with this game and have packed it to the brim with content, which is a stark contrast to the so-called AAA games coming out lately. It has well-built tutorials, challenges, replayable missions, collectibles, survival mode and even a game plus to keep you coming back for more. And you will, even if it's to try the other two classes and how they impact the gameplay. If you like Gundam or any mech related content, you won't regret purchasing War Tech Fighter. It's currently available at a price of £16 on the micro store, which translates to about $25 and is available on all major platforms. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's it. I do hope you like this review, and if you do, please like, share, and subscribe if you so wish. And if you'd like to put some notes or even just a comment in the comment section, I do like reading them. Anyway, have a great time gaming, and I'll see you all again soon.